All right, I'm standing here with James in Manchester, uh, who's a New Hampshire Liberty activist. And okay, you tell me, James. <laughs> What would you think of a political party that was just actually having parties? Um, well, it's hard to say uh, until you see what it looks like. You know, it could just be an exercise in irresponsibility. On the other hand, it could be a good community builder. It, yeah. all, it all just depends on, on how it's executed. How do you feel about the two existing major political parties? Um, I think that they serve their purpose, although I think their purpose is immoral. Um, any political group whose sole purpose is to hold power can't be trusted. It, 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 it defeats the, the purpose of democracy if, if you know, their only stance is to be opposite the other and they just fight between themselves. It, it, it doesn't serve any purpose. Well, it's better than fighting the people. Um, well, no, and it basically equates to fighting the people because then the platforms become just the antithesis of the other party and there's no, uh, there's no re representation. Oh, would you like to, uh, would you like to take a look at the, uh, at the win-win party's platform and uh, this ju is the... judge it by your standards? Um... See what you think of it? This is the platform here? Yeah, the, like the one, one through nine there is the planks in the platform. Okay. Start at uh... the bottom and work your way up if you would. All right, um, patent copyright ownership. Patents and copyrights should be only be owned for 10 years without renewals. Life should not be patentable. Um, I think, well, that one's going to get complicated when you get into the intellectual properties. Uh, artists have trouble letting go of what they create. At the same time, once you create something and put it out in the world, I think it belongs to all of us. Um, so I would I would support that. The ten years is, seems like a decent decent time frame. Community and individual ownership. Natural resources should be owned by communities. Improvements should be owned by individuals. Unimproved land is a natural resource, which should be the rented be rented to users in exchange for community revenues. Self defense is. I like the self-defense one. Militia officers should be hired by local representatives collectively. That's a, a volunteers should be chosen on their own superior and individually. Yeah, that's a, a that, I think that's the only way to legitimately police a, a, a community is by the community itself. Um, and I think that's the only way to do it. Mm -hmm. That's a really good one. Healthcare, education, anything that affects your quality of life should be left to your discretion. Yeah. It's your own decision, um, especially when it comes to healthcare. The only people involved in a healthcare uh, conversation are the patient and the doctor. Um, everything else just complicates it and lowers your own quality of life. Um, education also is uh, so subjective with how one raises their own child. I don't think anyone has the right to interfere there until clear um, neglect or abuse is involved and then it's a community thing I think the family should get involved um, before any outside but at the same time yeah that's um, non-compulsory taxation voluntary contribution that one I'm really behind um, all public services should be on a voluntary basis if I'm willing to take my trash to the dump, I don't need to pay for somebody else to come, you know, come pick up somebody else's. Um, also at the same time, once money is taken without a choice, then you no longer have a choice as to how that money is spent. And anytime money goes into a big top pot, corruption follows. Um, let's see what else we got here. Win-win uh, politics, lo political legislating. Representatives should use win-win to find solutions that satisfy all major groups main concerns instead of mere majority rule. Um, so that's thinking out, that's just suggesting we think outside the box. And instead of one way or the other, we come up with a third option. That's, I think anybody with half a brain, I mean, that's common sense to me. I don't, uh, I don't understand why that would have to be. <laughs> I mean, of course, in this world, though, it does, doesn't it? It does have to be dictated. Um, local rule, rule priority, proper rule. Outrank wider area. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, this is 
and the local rule priority, that's, that's how our, our country was founded to begin with, from the local municipalities having more um, authority than the state and the state having more than the federal. And that's how it was designed. So that's just simply reverting back to the original architecture of our country. I mean, that's the, what the Constitution said. Um, just laws and just law enforcement. Just laws are those who best protect everyone's natural rights. Voters should be able to choose anyone as a representative in any issue. Law enforcement should be hired by local representatives collectively. Well, <clears throat> again, this one goes back to the uh, to the militia officers, the item se eight or seven here, the self-defense issue. Um, the, it's really simple. There should be no law unless it affects others' quality of life. If it's not affecting other people's quality of life, then why should we even be involved? We don't have a right, nor do we have a responsibility to control other people. So, yeah, that's, uh, again, to me, that seems sounds like common sense. Uh, guest, the win-win party's principle for ideal society. Okay, that's what that is. All right. Um, was that all of them? Oh yeah, I guess. Well, I, I don't know. I can't see it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think you got all of them. Yeah, I, got, I think I think I did all. Well, of any them, other right. thoughts on the overall idea? How can Lloyd improve on what he what he's trying to do? Um, I'm gonna get to his goal faster. Inclusion, education. I mean, personally, I'm of the opinion that education is the silver bullet. What we need to do is is first educate the children on what they're being educated in. Um, it's, it, it's, a, it's an indoctrination process at this point, as opposed to an educational process, and that just leads to drones, non-thinking, non-feeling, really. There's a self-alienation aspect. I'm a drone. Yeah, it's, it's all, to me, it's all about awareness and education. It's all about, it's all about giving people the feeling that they have the right to think for themselves. And I think the more, the, the biggest, best way to get in inclusion is simply through awareness and education. All right, thanks so much, James, and welcome home. Thank you, thanks for having me. Yeah, because you're a new mover to New Hampshire. Yes, I've been here project, right? four weeks tomorrow. Okay, good to have yep. you here.